Now in this part there's two ways that we could calculate the mass m of the particle b. In the first way, which I think is the quickest, is to draw a diagram for the particle b. And remember we had an impulse that acted on a of 18 newton seconds. We calculated that in the first part. Well, we know that if there's an impulse of 18 newton seconds on A, then there'll be an equal and opposite impulse on B. So what I've done is I've drawn that on B. Now we've got that B approached A at 8 meters per second, had the impulse, and then moved away at 4 meters per second. So what we can do is use the impulse equation again. And as I said in part A, we're dealing with vector quantities. We need to set up a positive direction. It doesn't matter which way, as long as we stick to the sign convention. But in this particular part, because the impulse acts towards the right here, it seems sensible to take the positive direction to the right. I'd always encourage you to put in that sign convention when you're doing problems like this. Now, we know that impulse is equal to the change in momentum. The final momentum, mv, minus the initial momentum, mu. So therefore, what we've got is 18. It acts in the positive sense. So we've got 18 equals m, we don't know. v, the final velocity, well, that's 4 meters per second and it acts in the positive sense so we can write 4 there. Then we've got this minus and then the m and then we've got u, the initial velocity. We've got 8 meters per second acting to the left which is in the negative sense so we need to put that as minus 8. Okay, all we need to do now is just clean this up. So we've got 18 equals 4m plus another 8m, so that's 12m. And that means that if I divide both sides by 12 and reduce it down, we've got 18 divided by 12, which turns out to be 3 over 2, or 1.5 kilograms. OK, so that's the way that I would normally find the mass for a problem like this. But I did say at the beginning that there are two options open. And the other one, let's just draw a line here to separate it off, would be to consider the conservation of momentum. So we'll just write that this here, consider the conservation of momentum. So what is that going to be? Well, you should know that the momentum before impact is equal to the momentum after impact. So basically as a formula if we have two masses m1 and m2 then we have m1 u1 plus m2 u2 so that's the sum of the initial momenta is equal to the sum of the final momentum. So that would be m1 v1 plus m2 v2. Again, we're dealing with vector quantities, so we need a positive direction. Again, it doesn't matter which way you do it. I'm just going to take to the right. You could even experiment after watching this video. Take it to the left and see if you get the same answer. OK, so let's go through looking at this diagram here. So we'll have m1 as the mass of A and M2 the mass of B. Again, it doesn't really matter which way round you do this as long as you are consistent. So, what have we got? M1, U1, the initial momentum for A. That's going to be 2 then multiplied by the velocity here which is going to be 12 plus the momentum of b, so we've got its mass, m, times its velocity, 
initial velocity. We've got 8 here, but it's in the negative sense. So you need to write minus 8 there. Equals. Now we've got the final momentum for A. So we've got the mass 2 times the velocity. And the velocity, well, that's going to be 3. It's going to be plus 3 because it's in the plus direction. Then we have this plus here. Then we have the mass of B, which is going to be M, multiplied by its final velocity. And we've got 4 here acting in the positive sense. So just put that as 4. Clean this up and we've got 24 minus 8m equals 6 plus 4m. If we add 8m to both sides and subtract 6 from both sides, we've therefore got 18 equals 12m. And if I divide both sides by 12, 18 divided by 12 gives us m, and it follows that m equals, again, 3 over 2, or 1.5 kilograms. So, you have two methods then of solving this problem. Either by considering the impulse acting on B, or by considering the conservation of momentum. Okay, well, that brings us to the end of this question.